We enjoy this delicious chocolate and reap the economic benefits from the production of cocoa in Ghana, largely because of the sustainable cocoa produced between Ghana and neighboring Cote d'Ivoire. But there is a huge risk beckoning as the European Union and Switzerland put forth what it describes as the sustainable cocoa legislation. Japan has already taken the lead by drastically reducing importation of Ghana's cocoa beans after the discovery of chemical residue in the beans exported to the Asian country. When I talk about threats to env the environment emanating from Galamse and the use of banned chemical substances, I'm not a scientist, but at least I know it goes into the groundwater and it comes up through the food chain. And I think Japan has either reduced or banned cocoa. They're, they're raw beans because there have been some residue, chemical residue. It's only a matter of time that other countries and other producers or buyers who say the quality of that product is not good enough. The European Union is seriously considering a harsher approach. The proposed new EU legislation on deforestation could hurt cocoa exports from Ghana and Cote d'Ivoire. The two West African nations account for over 60% of global cocoa beans production. After years of cautions, the European Union Commission in November 2021 put forth a regulation on deforestation free supply chains and cocoa was one of five global commodities selected for stricter regulation. If an observatory group is able to confirm widespread deforestation in cocoa producing countries, paramount among the options being considered by the EU is a complete ban of cocoa products from those countries from entering their market. China has in recent years embarked on an aggressive cocoa production drive. So if we go back to the 2017-2018 escape of Aisha Wang and the argument that she has been released because we were looking for the Sinohydro uh, loan and that where she should be to be prosecuted, it could affect the loan, then Aisha is not an ordinary Chinese gangster. Hmm. She's an agent of the state. It therefore brings into sharp focus allegations by security expert Professor Kwesi Enin that the Chinese government may have deployed spies to collude with some Ghanaians to destroy Ghana's forest in order to trigger the EU ban on the country's cocoa beans. Now all those who do this mining, people that we know, or there are people who are aligned to groups and organizations that may not want this country's welfare but are interested in infiltrating these communities and gangs and panning for high value, small, easily transportable, easily hidden, and easily sold. If the Chinese, as speculated by and Professor Enin, succeed at this economic warfare and espionage, the European Union will be left with no other option than to import cocoa beans from countries that apply the cocoa sustainability legislation. The widespread speculative mining taking place across Ghana's regions could be the country's undoing.